what, what the haters talking about. It's Willie D, y'all, and we bull is giving out free money. That's right. Get six free stocks when you open and fund a new account today. Here's how you get your free stocks. Open an account, deposit any amount, get six free stocks. That's it. Open an account with WeBull to get your first two stocks, each valued at up to $300. Deposit any amount to receive four additional stocks, each valued at up to $3,000. Fam, all you got to do is click on the link in the description to get your free stocks now. What's up, family? We got a young lady who went on a first date with a guy she met online, and this is how it went down. Is sitting at a table at a restaurant and she tells him are you gonna just sit on your phone and he's like are you not gonna get up and start walking and she's like walk for what he's like well you know I figure you live close enough where you can walk home and she said why would I walk home you brought me here so dude goes on and say that well you know I was feeling you, you know, I'm attracted to you and and I don't see what the problem is. You know, we've been hanging out all day, I don't see what the problem is. He's like, you know, he wanna he wanna he wanna get out. And she's like, I don't really know you that well, not going back to your house. And that's that. What do y'all think about that? And I got a question too. Is there an unwritten rule that when you go on a date, this is for the people that do the dating app thing. Is there an unwritten rule that sex is expected when you're dating somebody on an app? <sighs> Come on with it, fam. I need to hear from my dating app people. Y'all know. I don't rock like that. I think it's hard enough trying to find somebody who you can trust, who you like, who you're compatible with, just through traditional methods of meeting somebody at a store, through a friend, at a place of worship, at the bar. You gotta kinda get to know people, right? And when you're meeting people in those type of settings, the traditional way, you know, typically you know you get to know a little bit about something. When you're dating somebody through an app, it's all suggestive. You know, it's it can be all fake. It can be 100% fake. On down to what they actually look like. It can be fake. So I don't trust dating apps. And, and I'm going to tell you, fam, I'm going to go ahead. I'm I'm, Y'all going to say I'm judgmental. But I do know a few wackos who use date apps, dating apps. Like, like just people that's just, you know, yeah. But then I also know some people that I would be surprised that use dating apps, you know, like people that I consider to be of sound mind and body, you know, they will get on a dating app. But again, the question is, is sex expected? Now, for a long time, <laughs> sex has been expected from some guys, sex has been expected from women when guys take them out and spend money on them like, you know, for dinner, if they, especially if they spend a lot of money. But I know women who have dudes who just bought something that cost 10 bucks and they expected sex. I guess it's all relative to what your pocketbook is like, right? But, you know, and, and who the chick is. I look at it like this. I really do believe that nobody owes you anything, right? Unless you loan them some money. Nobody owes you anything. 
I have been in situations where my girl wanted sex and I wasn't in the mood. I was tired, you know, I had things to do. I just didn't want to get out. And we're talking about a nice girl, nice sexy girl, nice. Yeah, let me get back here, let me come back. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know. And that's just like there's been times when she wanted to do it and you know, I had to fall back. Okay, yeah, okay, you know, oh, I, I, okay. Then I just go on about my business and then, you know, and you know, it kind of all works out in the end at the right time when both of us are in the mood and, you know, both of us are in agreement, right? If I was a female, I would be afraid of a dude who cannot take a negative answer. You know, a guy who don't respect a negative answer. I would be afraid of that type of dude because he's clearly telling you that he can't be trusted. He's telling you that he could be dangerous. This guy was going to leave that young woman at a restaurant. He went to pick her up and he was gonna leave her at the restaurant because she wouldn't give him sex. By a show of hands, how many of you would be okay with a guy like that dating your daughter? That ain't cool, that ain't cool at all. Fellas, let me tell you something. For so many reasons, if you pick a young woman up, any woman up, it's your responsibility if you take her somewhere, if you remove her from a place, if she goes with you somewhere, it's your responsibility to make sure she gets back to her destination, wherever she's going, safe and sound. Besides the fact that that is just a responsible thing to do, you also protect yourself from a woman's scorn. Because there are some women that you play a, play a game like that with and they're vindictive. They'll get you back. They might say that you did something to them. You violated them in some kind of way. And now you're going to jail with or without proof. You're going to jail. So the best thing to do is, man, if you have a woman traveling with you, whether you're the driver or whether you're in the passenger seat, make sure that woman gets back to whatever destination. Make sure she gets to the dest her destination safe and sound. That's the manly thing to do. Anything else is uncivilized. No more talk. What the haters talking about?